And so why does the carbon monoxide not matter? Because the hard part here is for the two nitrogen dioxides to collide with each other. The hard part is for the two nitrogen dioxides to collide. Apparently, it's easy then for the carbon monoxide to do its job. So how can we make this reaction go faster? Add more NO2. Yeah. How about adding more carbon monoxide? Would that make it go faster? No, because the carbon monoxide, that would only speed up this step, which is going too fast anyway. It wouldn't speed up the overall reaction. Adding more carbon monoxide would be like the adult wearing better running shoes for their walks with the toddler. They're not the problem in that reaction. OK. Uh, so the carbon monoxide is not the problem, so it doesn't appear in the rate expression. All right, and now we're seeing how this actual uh, actually works uh, in real life in the lab. So what's the order of this reaction in carbon monoxide? What's the order of this reaction in carbon monoxide? What's the order of the overall reaction in carbon monoxide? Zero. That's right. If I was going to put carbon monoxide in the equation, does it, you guys remember, what does it mean if the exponent is zero? It's one, not zero. X to the zero is one. So you could include this in the equation if you liked, if you just put in this number zero. That's kind of a, a technical or pedantic way to do that. But now we can say this is zeroth order in carbon monoxide. So what does it mean if you say that something is zeroth order in carbon monoxide? That's basically the most pompous way possible of saying that the carbon monoxide does not affect the rate. With this number zero. What's the order of the reaction in the nitrogen dioxide? Second. Yeah. So notice again on the test, you have to pay close attention to what they're asking you about when they ask about the order. What's the overall order? Because two plus zero is two. Okay, um, so what are the steps for checking a proposed mechanism? First, make sure the elementary steps add up to the overall reaction. We practiced that earlier. Actually, we were lazy and we didn't practice that here. We should have checked that these two steps add up to this. Do these two steps really add up to this? So how many NO2s do we have on the left? Two. And how many NO2s on the right? That gives us one overall, so that matches up. Um, how many NO3s on the left? One. And how many NO3s on the right? One. So those would cancel, and that's why there's no NO3 in the overall reaction. What's the name for the role that the NO3 is playing? Intermediate. It's the intermediate. Um, and uh, how many NO2s? We already talked about that. How many carbon monoxides on the right? One, and that matches up there. So you can carefully check if these add up. So you have to check if they add up. The elementary steps must be physically reasonable. Step two, we talked about how termolecular is unlikely and tetramolecular doesn't happen. And step three, what we just learned, the mechanism must correlate with the rate law. And we just learned how to check that uh, as well. So we're supposed to check, is this a plausible mechanism for this reaction? How can we go about checking whether this is a plausible mechanism? What would be the steps we'd have to go through? Write down the overall reaction. That's right. So what is our overall reaction going to be here? What is our overall reaction here? Is it the same? <laughs> yes. So do, do they match? Yeah. yeah. So we've got two NO2s that matches this. We've got one F2 that matches this. What about this F gas? That's going to cancel with this F gas on the right. NO2F and NO2F matches this. All right? What, what else do we have to check to see if this is the correct mechanism? The rate. 
Yeah. How would that apply again? Okay. Yeah, now which, 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 so what, what should we figure out first? First find grades of each elementary step. Yeah, do we need both elementary steps? No, we still Just the slow Really, only the slow one if this is the only problem, right? We've been practicing finding out all the rate expressions for practice. But if the only question is whether this mechanism works, we don't care about how fast the adult can go, we only care about how fast the toddler can go. Well, what would be the rate expression for this slow step? K, concentration of NO2 times concentration of F2. Does that match what we wanted? So does it look like this is a plausible mechanism? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Again, technically the textbook would say we haven't proven it. We've just said that it's consistent with the data. Maybe there's some other mechanism that would also be consistent, but this seems like it's consistent with the data. All right. The, um, the, the rate law for this step would exactly match this. So those are the steps. Uh, we didn't even have to bother finding the rate law for this because it didn't affect the overall rate.